What's up guys, Michael Lee here, your road to other Palm Beaches. Welcome back. I have an interesting property tour for you guys today. To all my subscribers, welcome back. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee, your road to other Palm Beaches, and it's my job to help you guys find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County, whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city. Please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours as well as property tours. Now, today we are in the city of Palm Beach Gardens, but we are going to be touring a property located in an unincorporated area of Palm Beach Gardens. Now you're saying to myself, hey Mike, what does unincorporated mean? I've never really heard of that. Now, unincorporated means you're not a part of any city or municipality for others that know city terminology. So what that means is you are, yes, you still pay property taxes, you are still a part of Palm Beach County as a whole, but you are not subject to city laws. You're subject to county laws. So that is an area that we're gonna be checking out today. Now, they can be very, very small areas or very, very large areas that just depends on the planning and zoning of the county, but I decided to check out one of those properties today. It's going to be two bedrooms, two bathrooms, just over 1,200 square feet with the option to add in a home office or den. So without further ado, let's go. guys welcome welcome we're going to check out this beautiful two bedroom two bathroom home that has been recently renovated most of the key renovations that you would love to hear about are the ones that you aren't going to see so i'm talking new roof new ac new hvac new electric and of course the kitchen has been renovated and the rest of the home has been renovated now Extremely, extremely open floor plan, combining the living room, dining room, as well as the back area, as you can see straight through. So I'm stepping back to give you a view of what the entire house looks like upon entry. Now, an and a good idea that I think that you can do with this is add in an island somewhere here, maybe to the side to extend that counter in an L shape, or maybe a, an additional countertop island here to kind of add some separation from the living room and the kitchen and some additional counter space and storage. Now I know in the recent tours that we have seen, storage has been a huge thing. Now this kitchen does have a lot of storage, but who doesn't need more storage in a house? Now let's go ahead and check out to the immediate right, the first official bedroom. Now, pretty basic, pretty large. You have the ceiling fan. New windows have been installed throughout. Impact windows, as you can see, they're beautiful. They allow tons of natural light, as you can see the front of the house from there. Closet space, so we'll check out. Double doors. Pretty standard. You can kind of come in and make your custom changes if need be, or you can leave it as is. Straight through is the bathroom. Pretty standard. Tub entry with the shop. Now, immediately to my right here, this is considered a den slash office. And the reason they consider this a den slash office is because you do not have any access to the outside, meaning a window. Now you do have access coming in straight from the garage. So this is when you enter, you'll be entering from the garage. So you kind of think in those large homes, Maybe up, up, up north in the Midwest, you have those mud rooms. This would kind of be technically your mud room. But because we live in Florida, 
we don't really have mudrooms here. So it does have a closet, but it cannot be considered a bedroom because there's no windows and there's no access to the outside. Just in case there's a fire, the fire department can get access. Now you do have two additional spaces for storage as far as linens, towels, and anything else that we love to just keep in our house and never really use most of the time. As you can see, large picture windows, impact, freshly winter rated. Now let's go make our way to the back end of the house. Uh, here we are in the back end, as you can see, sliding glass windows where you can have access to your backyard with the pool. Now this can be used in a number of different ways. You maybe would put your dining room here since it is close to the kitchen and you do want to use most of that space for your living area or you can maybe make this a small relaxation area if you're just here by yourself and you may be retired and you're downsized. This could be your nice relaxation area and that could be maybe a space we can create. As we go straight back, we're going to enter the primary bedroom. Ceiling fan, dual closets. These closets are not walk-in, so you don't have any walk-in closets in this home. But since it is a two-bedroom, if you have a family of three or four, this probably wouldn't be a good space for you. So this would most likely, I feel like, would be a good home for someone looking to downsize, maybe coming from a larger home, maybe someone looking to not need a lot of space. Right. Now this door straight ahead leads to the backyard and enclosed patio right off the primary. So you do have some covered space out here so you don't have just an open backyard. You can put a nice patio table here. It is screened in. So in Florida, you do have those crazy mosquitoes out here and it is covered, so that's nice. Now this access will lead you to the garage, sort of like in the first bedroom that we saw, maybe an additional storage space. I'm not really sure it's locked, so that's still yet to be determined. So with that being said, let's check out the backyard space. All right, welcome to the backyard. As you can see to my immediate right, pool pump, an additional concrete slab. Maybe you can put um, a barbecue station there, a grill station there for that concrete slab, maybe a small little patio table if you want some outdoor access. Um, you do have the paved pool area. So you're gonna set up some nice beach chairs. A little grass on the side. So it's pretty straightforward in the backyard. You do have some additional space on the other side of the house as we'll go check that out um, but you do have ample shade so when there is a lot of sun out you do have a lot of tree coverage so this is some additional grass space that leads to the front yard just a quick tour so that is access to your kitchen dining area access to the front yard in case you need just to have a backyard party. They don't have to enter your home. You can come straight through. And here's your setup for your backyard. Like I said, in that back corner there, you can have your barbecue set up if you need be. You can create something additional, or you can have it right here in this additional space. So it's a lot of space back here that you can change up and do some things. And they did leave it kind of open. So if you've lasted this long for the, for the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.